Hello YouTube and welcome to a new Uni3D tutorial, thank you for watching and what we're going to do today is break away from all the serious stuff and we're just going to throw something cool and funny in there what I've made. So I've made something called an advert booth and basically I saw it off for a movie which the annotation will be there now explaining what movie but um, I decided to take it to a different level and make a kind of one for our game so I've already sized it correctly because that took longer than expected and if you put it up next to the character you can see it's not super massive but then again it's kind of is so you can see it and what it is is basically we can put it just in random places and we'll be able to walk up to it like so and just see it and if we hit one it'll pop up with a key saying press enter or E to view and then when we click view a sound plays and it'll just explain each advert to us but the cool thing is I've split the textures up so all you do is duplicate one of the textures name it 4 and then all you do is make a new material for it and drag it on and it'll work perfectly now the black steel around it isn't the bestly textured but I'm not a big fan of texturing that's why some of them are slightly to the side like this one but um, you will recognize some features in them like um, the spaceship up there if you a uh, fan of that show or I don't know what that thrones off or the maze which we made for this arcade machine here but then I've also got some custom sounds for them which I'll show you now so we've got the advert booth done and we'll find the sounds advert booth so these are the adverts I'm thinking about having so this is for the maze one So as you can see, it's got some stutters in it, and I thought that would be cool for like, um, seeing as I will, I'm still going along with the realm where everyone's being dragged. It's a broken machine, they haven't got what they want, so it stutters sometimes. Now, this is the um, Welcome to Our City one here. So I've done this differently. Have a listen. So as you can see, it's a bit more professional upbringing. He's like directing at you. I thought it'd be cool. The Plaza Hotel, what's in there? We can have like that a new building one day. And I've just really put some cool features into it, so we can add more to it. And the final one is the King's Army, which is this one. So that one's a bit different again, but it's still the same, it's more serious, like join the army today kind of thing. So I thought that'd be cool, and this is actually really, really simple to do as well. So we're going to start by going back to our model, and we'll select um, a sphere collider for it. So we'll go game object, create, in fact we'll go mesh renderer, that'll be better for now. So we'll go models, landscape, advert booth, select our model, and choose generate colliders and then apply. So now they all should have colliders, which I hope. Uh, that one, there we go. So that one's going to mesh collider, and these now need boundary boxes, which is really, really still simple. But we're going to change it. So if you go up here where it says textured, click it and click wireframe, you'll be able to see the whole wires for our game, and you'll wonder why we're doing this in a minute. But if we go to the top view and select the box collider here, the mesh collider, we're going to get rid of that. And we're going to replace it with a box collider, like so. But we're going to try and rescale it, kind of thing. So we're going to set the size Z, is it? Okay, not the Z one. The X, I want the Y one, out forward, and just roughly try to get it. So um, if we turn it back to the normal view. Like, if you walk in front of it, it'll be directly there. You can walk into it and hit it. But, uh, this isn't clearly working, so we'll do it another way. What we'll do is we'll get rid of the mesh colliders off of all and just put a box there instead, because then we can rotate a box. So, 
the reason I use what you could just hide this if you like that would work too I suppose so we're going to go create other cube and I'm just going to position it roughly where it wants to be and I don't want it intersecting with the other colliders on the outside otherwise it will mess up too badly so just about there and then stretch it out because then we can put if the character's trigger enters this box which shall be hidden soon and um, then place activate and um, press E to activate sound play the sound so it's not perfect but I think that's still good enough like you walk up to it and you hit it so we'll make it a trigger and we'll set this to advert 3 and put it in there like that so we'll to say get rid of the mesh rendering we don't need that and then we'll go duplicate this take it out and put it roughly here just so we can roughly see it that'll do so you hit it what's the other one like yeah that'll do so we'll drag that into advert 2 and rename it. You'll see why we're calling them same in a minute. And we'll duplicate it again, put it up here, and rotate final. Good thing is we can turn this to a prefab soon and we just put anything we want in. Perfect. So you can't see it, but as you can see, the insides are messed up purely because you'll not be seeing the insides. Because when you put the... Uh, hold on. There we go. When you put the advert box there, you can't see it anyway. So. The original purpose was I was going to make all the adverts rotate around the center like that, but then I just changed my mind. Mm, I didn't really want to. So we have the advert box, and what we can do on the ad actual advert booth is we create a new script. So we'll go uh, scripts, and then instead of collisions, we're going to duplicate it because we're doing most of the things in there and we'll call it advert booth and we'll open this up and what we'll do is we'll get keep the audio clips but we'll duplicate one and we'll call it advert one sound advert two advert three so we've got three sounds one for each advert this way you can apply different sounds if you want to make your own so you don't just have to use mine so it's really easy so we don't need this bit here and we don't need the function start. We do need the center, but we don't need any of these down here. So what we can type up here is just clean it up. So we're going to adapt this line here to only set off when our character hits it. I apologize for that. So we're going to type call dot game object dot name if it equals character. So if our character comes up and hits this advert then what we need to do is stop the audio on the main um, parent so this advert booth parent will be playing all the sound so if we stick a audio source on there that will be playing all our sound so we can only have to play one sound when we're ever around it however the colliders will be these three here so it'll be really really simple so we're going to attach our script to all three of these if we can find it here and advert booth. So if we hit any of them, it should set it off. So first thing is we need to actually get hold of the parent. So you do this by typing this dot game object dot transform dot parent. So that'll get the parent of whatever object this is attached to. So that'll be advert one, but that's not the one we want. So again, right after it, you type the same thing. So this dot transform dot parent dot game object that transform the parent and that'll give us advert booth so we're going up the parents dot audio dot stop so we'll stop the audio on that so we'll duplicate this line and type audio dot play um, and then we're going to adjust this just to advert sound so we just need one and put this here but instead of play we'll play one shot so this is not what we want but as soon as you hit it it'll start playing that sound for now so we'll go and try it Actually, that won't work. I've just figured out why. We forgot to assign our audio. So if we click this advert 1, we can assign the first audio, which is the maze. Advert 2, kings. And advert 3 should be city. 
So whichever one we hit, it'll stop and play the other one, hopefully. So let's go and try it. So you can just hear it, so let's try another one. So that stopped it. So it is starting and stopping it, but very, very quietly. So we're going to go to Advert Booth, and in here, we're going to drag, if you see inside, this is a little circle, we're going to drag it up a little bit like so. Click the maximum distance, and we'll see. Yeah, that'll work. So, set this to 5, and we'll try again. So hopefully it should be a little bit louder now that we've increased the minimum distance. Perfect, so 10 seems to be loud enough so that we can hear it without going deaf. We'll turn it up to 15 just to be sure. So if he's inside this circle, he'll really clearly hear it. Anything else, it'll start fading out. So if we click the maximum distance, uh, if we can see it, that anything in this circle will fade out. So you won't obviously hear it if you're over the corner of the map, but yeah. So we'll be able to hear it nice and loud. So what we need it to do now is basically say, find the information box and say press E. So we're going to start with private boolean. So private bool, in fact private var, uh, play audio, and then this will be boolean equal to false. Uh, yeah, so instead of play audio we'll type show info. And then we'll make a new function update, function update, and then in here we'll basically say if show audio, show info I mean, equals true, which it'll be true when we collide with this box here, equals true. So if we hit it, it'll equal true. Then, um, if it equals true, it'll stop the audio here, stop, stop, but it won't stop it straight away. So we need to show the information box first and say press E. So we're going to put, well actually we're going to find our tree cutting one because that had all the scripts on because we've used that quite a lot. So tree cutting I believe is chopping trees, tree chop. So in here we're going to find the line that says, zoom in for you, um, this one here. So input that text active controls, paste it in here and same again up here, there. So now we assign our GUI text to it and then it'll say press E or Q, Q will be better, I apologize for my dog, press Q to activate. So it'll activate it and then that. So we're going to need another boolean saying play audio. And the reason we're having another one, and we'll set this one to true, is because in order for us to actually stop the sound and play it once, we need a boolean to go on off, on off. Otherwise, if we just play with this one, we can't say it's just going to be deactivating it, so it's not very good. So we can duplicate this whole line and paste this inside here and change it to if play audio equals equals true, then play the sound, play audio equals false. So it'll do it play the sound and then turn it false if we press Q but not yet so we need to make it say press Q so here we're going to type if input dot get key up Q then we'll make this false then we'll say play audio equals true it's a run down play audio equals true play audio equals false so Hopefully that should do it. It should keep repeating it. So let's try it and hopefully it works. So we'll go up to one. It'll show it, even though we haven't assigned it. So we'll go and find uh, advert booth, advert booth, and advert booth, and HUDs, and we'll stick our player information panel there. So we play it, we'll go up to one, it'll show it, press Q, we'll press Q, it plays audio, hopefully. So press E and press Q to activate. So as you can see, we've got a small glitch there. Where it's not playing the sounds we want. 
So the issue with it not changing audio is actually really simple. The reason it's doing it is because when one of these is on, the one what's at the top of all the others, so advert one, is taking more parent than the other ones. So if we if that's show is still on and we're not in range, we can continue pressing Q and it'll all always only play that one so we need a way to turn it off so we can go around and press others and this is really really simple so we can just duplicate this on trigger enter and call it on trigger exit and then if all that's true then just make it false and that's it so as soon as we leave it turns it false as soon as we go in it turns it on we can go around and press different threes and it all works fine so let's try it so we go up and press on this one that works, go to this next one come out and go in it works, come out, go into another one there so it stops and plays the other one so it's a cool little feature just to add, it's really really simple to do and the good thing is we can stick that on any one we want so if you ever wanted to create your own audio, you can you want a different advert booth with a different thing, just go for it. So we could pretty much grab this and I'm just going to put it there. I'm going to create a new prefab for it. So in our prefabs folder and in our items, hmm, we'll put it in landscape, it seems easier. Create prefab and we'll call it advert booth. But we're going to rename it a little bit. So we'll say maze. What else was in there? King and city. So now we can tell which ones they've got in it. So we can drag that in, delete that, and we'll just drag it to say, well, we'll drag it up a little bit. And we'll drag another one, say, here. So we could have two of them going off all at once and it should work fine. And because we've got no find advert booth, we go up to this one, press Q, unassigned input text. So we've not assigned input text to them. I think it would be better if we do auto assign it. So back in here we'll just type function start and input text equals game object dot find and then what's the name of it which is here player information panel so input text equals player that information panel dot GUI text so that should make it auto assign just make it a quick easier so we don't have to assign it every time we want a new one yes we did mean GUI text and let's see it work fine now so we'll go up and see one click this one Let's queue. That works. Let's go up to this one and click queue. See, so you can have multiple ones, and um, with that function start, that'll just make it quicker, and um, much much simpler, and really really cool. Stick that in landscapes. Thank you for watching, and see you next time. Also join my Facebook group for instant updates.